Mark, just to talk to Chris a little bit, he, he has a big take all the time he needs, so if you guys would just be seated. <laughs> hey, uh, I want to echo uh, Chris's comments. It's uh, just been a pleasure and a real honor to work with Chris as the co chair. And uh, we were just visiting a little bit too, but not only are we working together with the renewable uh, energy field, but uh, we are also working together on the soccer field. We held the first, let me see if I can get the name correct, the first congressional classic soccer tournament. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Democrats won. <laughs> and I got hurt. <laughs> But uh, I, I, it's just an honor to, to be here today to, to address you and, and get the uh, you know, Chris is right on with the uh, remarks that I heard as I uh, walked in, in the door. Um, your efforts are so much appreciated. You are the people that are on the front lines that are working to find solutions to our energies, our, our country's energy needs. And, uh, and it is about jobs. There are so many jobs that are going to be created as offshoots from the technology and science that, that develops from all of your hard work. Uh, I just want to, uh, if I have just a few minutes to tell a personal story, it's not a, it doesn't have to do with energy, but it has to do with science. Do you want to hear a story about science? Sure. It has nothing to do with energy, though. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> Okay, here's, I, I, I don't know how many of you know, but I was a, a homicide detective for years. I was in law enforcement for 33 years. And for 19 years, we searched for a killer called the Bruno Murder Killer. When we started that case, when I started that case, I was 31 years old. That was 1982. By the way, I had dark brown hair. I was 6 foot 8. I was 300. You know, this is what this job does to you. <laughs> But in 1982, we took some oddly fluid samples. In 1987, we found a suspect who we were interested in about 40,000 tip sheets and 10,000 items of evidence. In 1987, we took a saliva sample. We got fluid from victims. We got saliva, 82, 87, 2001. We were only looking for a blood type. But in 2001, we submitted our evidence because of a new science called DNA. Guess what? Out of those 40,000 tip sheets, one person was identified as only 400 people because of that science. That DNA now today is being used to reprogram T cells to kill cancer cells. So if you apply, that's this is why I'm so excited about the energy field because if you think about science generally, and that's just one example, the things that you're, I see a lot of young people out here. Things that you're going to uncover is just, for, at this point in your life, unimaginable. Because at 31 years old, I would never, ever have guessed that a science would have been developed beyond the blood typing capability. It could take minute samples of body fluid and can compare those and come up with one person. It's amazing. And now it's the cure of cancer. You will find the answer to our energy needs. You will. But it's going to take a lot of trial and error, just as it did in the Green River, it took us 19 years to get to that point. But here we are, and you're full of energy. 